Hello and welcome to Pavli. So Pavli Connect has recently launched a new feature called subfolders. And now you can create subfolders in your Pavli Connect account to manage and organize your automation workflows inside Pavli Connect. Let me show you. So here you can see on my Pavli Connect account on the left side, I have created three different folders, company A, company B and company C. Let's say these are three of my clients. Now for each company, I also want to create some subfolders on the basis of department. So now you can do that. Let's say under company A, I want to create a subfolder. Just click on these three dots in front of it and click on this create folder button and just give this folder a name. Let's say I'll name it as HR. Then you have to select the parent folder that under which particular folder you want to create the subfolder. So we want to create the subfolder under company A, this folder. So just select it from this drop down and click on create folder. Now, as I click on create folder, you'll notice that under company A, we have created a subfolder. And similarly, you can create unlimited subfolders inside a folder inside Pavli Connect. Let's say under company A, I want to create another subfolder named as support team. Select the parent folder that is company A. Under company A, we want to create this subfolder and click on create and the subfolder will be created. Not just this, under this subfolder as well, you can create another subfolder. Let's say under support team, I want to create a subfolder named as Zendesk in which I'm storing all the Zendesk related automations for the company. So I'm giving the folder name. You can give any other name of your choice. Then the subfolder under which we are creating this folder will become our parent folder. So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the folders and subfolder which I have. So the parent folder will be support team. Under this folder, we are going to create this subfolder named as Zendesk and click on this create folder. And after this, you will see under this folder named as support team, another subfolder called Zendesk is created. So we had the root folder as company A. Under root folder, under company A, we have created two folders, HR and support team. So these are our child folders. And under support team as well, we have created another subfolder called Zendesk. This will be our grandchild folder. So in this way, you can have three layers of folder organization or folder segregation inside Pavli Connect to manage and organize your automation workflows. And not just this, with this new update, you can completely share a folder or a subfolder with your team members as well. Let's say if you're adding a team member in your Pavli Connect account, instead of selecting each and every automation workflow which you want to share with them, you can select or share a complete folder or subfolder with them as well. Let me show you. So I'll just go to this folder called test in my automation workflow. In this folder, I have some workflows and I'm going to move some automation workflows to this Zendesk subfolder, which we have created just for an example. So I've selected these three workflows. I'll go to select action and move workflow. When we move the workflow inside Pavli Connect here, you can see in this dropdown, it is asking us to select the folder or subfolder. So here you can see in this dropdown, we have all the folders and subfolders. We have all the root folders after a single colon, which we have is the subfolder. And after a double colon, which the folder name, which we have is our grandchild folder. This means we have a subfolder called HR and a subfolder called support team under company name, this root folder. And under support team as well, we have a grandchild folder called Zendesk. Let's say I want to move these workflows in this folder called Zendesk. So I'm selecting it and then just click on move. And as we click on move, the automation workflows will be moved over here. So we will go to the subfolder of Zendesk and here you can see the automation workflows which we have selected are now added over here. Now let's say I want to add a team members and to that team member, I want to give access to all the automation workflows which I will be having inside this subfolder. So what you can do, just click on these three dots in front of the folder and go to share. As you click on share, Public Connect will take us to the team member page or team member section of our account. Under team member, just click on this add team member button and enter the email address of the team member which you want to add. So here I have entered the email address of the person to whom I want to add as a team member. Then it is asking us to select the workflow or select the folder. So as I told you earlier, you have to select the automation workflows one by one for which you want to give access to your team members. But instead of this, now you can select the workflows or you can select the folders as well. Let's say I want to give the access of this subfolder called Zendesk. Only I want to share the automation workflows from this subfolder with my team member. So you have to just select this subfolder or the folder and click on this add button. And as you click on add, you can see this team member is added in my Pavli Connect account. 
and we have shared the subfolder called Zendesk with them. And all the automation workflows inside this folder will be shared with the user. So let's check it. We will go to the public connect account of the same person. We are in the public connect account of the same person to whom we have just now added as a team member. Now from the settings section, we will go to the team member option, team member section. Just go to team member. And here you can see from my account, the workflows are shared. So here from this particular account, this particular user has added this person as, or this user as a team member and they have shared a folder called Zendesk. Now, if we click on access now, you will see this user can access all the automation workloads which I have in that folder called Zendesk. So I'm going to open this folder over here. And we have the same three automation workloads which we have added to this folder. Also, you will notice that if I move any workflow in and out in the subfolder or the shared folder, the same folder or the same changes will be reflected to the team members account as well. Let's say we had three automation workflows in this subfolder over here. Let's say I'm going to move one automation workflow out of this. I'm going to move this automation to the test folder, for example. So I will just click on move and this automation workflow will be moved from this particular folder or the shared folder to the test folder. And you will see in our team members public connect account, the same changes will be reflected. We will just refresh this page once, the public connect account once, and now you can see only two automation workflows are shared. This means whatever workflow you are keeping in this folder will be shared only. The workflows out of this folder will not be shared. Now, instead of sharing the subfolder directly, if you share the child folder or the grandchild folder, then in that case as well, all the automation workflows and all the folders under that category, under that particular folder will be shared. Let's say if I completely share this particular folder of company A with the team members, I'll just click on the share button and then I'll just add a team member and enter the same person's email address and the folder which I'm going to share is named as company A. So I've selected the folder over here. So we have the email and folder. Let's click on add. So just now I've shared a complete root folder with this team member as you can see. The company A folder is shared. Now we'll go back to the team members account and we will just refresh our public connect account once. And here you can see company A is shared. The folders which we had inside company A are also shared like the HR and support team. These two folders are also shared and under support team we had Zendesk. That particular subfolder is also shared. So all the folders, subfolders and automation workflow, which we will be having under the folder or the subfolder category, all of them will be shared with our team members. And whatever changes you are going to make in your public connect account, whatever workflows you are going to add or remove in these folders or subfolders, those same changes will be reflected on the team members accounts as well. Let's say from test, I'm going to add some more automation workflows. I'm going to share this workflow once again, this one as well, and this one too, Instagram Reels one. So I'm going to move these workflows to the folder named as company A. So under this root folder of company A, I'm going to add some workflows over here and the workflows are successfully moved. So under company A, here you can see we have three automation workflows as you can see over here. Then after that, we'll go back to the team members account and just refresh the public connect account once. And now you can see the same. We have added two workflows in the Zendesk subfolder, so we have them. And under company A, this folder, we have added the three automation workflows. And the same automation workflows are here. In this way, you can just directly have the complete access, the complete control, that what are the folders or subfolders you want to share with your team members, and also what are the folders or subfolders you want to add or remove the access with. So this was a short video on newly launched feature of Public Connect that was subfolders and sharing folders with your team members. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.